I've got another bit of beach fishing going. This time down at Tarpera Beach on the south coast of New South Wales. I've got my brother and nephew Stephen over there. We've already seen this group to my left get a, a salmon when we arrived, so we're, we're hoping for some salmon. But there's a really heavy nor'easter blowing. You can probably hear the wind and there's some storms around. So look out over that way. Some fresh yakka we caught off Tarpa Wharf. Little pieces out there. Just aiming for, well, salmon mainly. Um, But the high tide's around 8.30 and I'm actually hoping for some tail around then for the barbecue. Okay. So a bit different than the last one. I'm actually running a star sinker on a... Just on a, uh, a fixed, or not fixed, a running sort of setup there. Down to a, uh, a single hook again. Again, if there's Taylor around, I'm probably not going to be doing particularly well. Without wire or anything, but that's a 30-pound uh, litre in this instance. So a pretty simple leak rig. Nice little bit of yakka. Only a little piece. James next to me here and Stephen they have got a bit of a rip going. I don't, which is odd. My brother, he's on. Hopefully the first fish of the uh, session. Size? Not doing a lot. Steve. Yeah. Oh, got a massive tangle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got another one too. Using the waves, isn't it? Little salmon, little baby salmon. Little salmon. Down on that side. Yeah, James with these. First beach salmon of the uh, session, only a bub, but we'll get a, a measurement. Fuck, I didn't bring a tape. Um, get a measurement off him, and 
I think we'll keep him for, for Sharon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta sort out this mess I've got. Lost everything. No, no, everything. Yeah, look where the running sinker is. Oh, it's the knots come undone at the running running sinker. I know what's happened. Is on the cast. It's bashed that knot open. Yeah. Yep, pulled it loose. Well, that's what I would call a major fuck up. What happened there was I had a good bite, I struck. I actually didn't even feel the weight of the fish, but obviously the um, the sinker running system had bashed the knot open. I'd forgotten to put a bead on there. Should always put a bead on there. So that is an epic fuck up by me. Oh well. Tarpa Beach again. The last session ended up being pretty good. We, uh, we scored quite a few nice tailor up to about a kilo after dark. Of course, can't run the cameras after dark so you didn't get to see that. So we kind of finished off after my brother got that little salmon. But I'm going to, down the beach for a solo mission. The tide's not ideal. It's uh, not high until well after dark, but this is a big deep hole. Never know your luck, might get a nice salmon or maybe a, a nice solid brim. Okay, so what we've got here, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but it's a bit of a sand flat to my left. And you can see the deeper water or the darker water where this log is down here in front of that. That's a big deep hole. So that's where we're going to set up, I think. We were fishing uh, in the last session, was a bit further along the beach. And there was another group here, and they were doing quite well, so. Thinking I'll set up round about here. So I'm going to set up in the same way as before, I'm going to run a, just a running star sinker on the clip with a bead to protect the knot. Found that out the hard way. Always protect that knot. And I'll probably again put a 30 pound leader on down to a single hook. I found the 30 pound really effective with a tailor. Normally I run a 20 pound and I expect a number of bite offs, but I didn't get a single bite off the other night. And some of the tailor were hooked quite deeply. Which incidentally made wonderful tailor tacos that night. Alrighty, same bait as the other night. I've got some, uh, well, yakka from the other day. It's starting to probably 
run out of its life, so hopefully use it all up today. Just into these sort of strip pieces like this. Nothing too big, nothing too fancy. I'm gonna pop those back in the uh, little baits in there. Keep one out. Okay, so. So again, here's this, this rig I'm using. It's a sliding star sinker on a clip down to a bead. A short 30 pound leader down to a single hook. And what we're gonna do is get just this little piece on. It's only a little piece, not really going two big baits here. Just through twice, like so. And then I'm gonna half hitch around the bait to hold it. So there we go. So that's a nice little rig. Good for sort of salmon, tailor, um, that sort of thing, so. Alrighty. Check your drags. Oh, wet already, fantastic. But anyway, it'll do. There we go, ripper. Oh, I dropped it. Or did I? No, nah, dropped it. Oh no. Uh. What did I drop it? Yeah, I dropped it. Ah, uh. brief hookup. fish in the rod holder I think we might have a little salmon here there it is in the wash just there back to drag off a little bit These things are great, they're so much fun. Oh, 
come back, come back. There we go. Look at that for a quality salmon. fan of eating these they do go well in a curry that sort of thing but my sister-in-law loves it so this guy uh, despite being a beautiful fish is destined for the table what a beautiful beautiful fish they fight like crazy okay now what i'd like to get is i reckon a nice big surf rim Is a good bite. Come on. Oh yeah, good bite. Come on, take it. Yes, got that one. Oh, oh, oh. What have we here? I think it's probably just a big salmon. Oh, it's dropped it. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> that was just motoring. Could that have been my elusive dewy? Could that have been my elusive beach dew? Oh. Bite. Oh yeah, that might have felt like a tail of bite, that. Mm. Oh, come on, take it. I was about to hit it then, and I think I've missed my chance. There we go. I think this one is a tailor. Although it's just taken off. Maybe another salmon. Yeah, salmon. So the way that's running. Oh, don't tell me I've lost that one too. No, I haven't. Suggest that the other one was probably a salmon. How much fun are these? Follow him up the beach if you have to. There he is there. Get him up the beach, come on. It's not that big. That's odd, he went really hard for his size. There we go. There's salmon number two. Not as big as the first, but he went harder.
And there we go. Oh, nah, I lost it, I think. Oh, no. Another salmon. How much fun is this? smaller I think but what we'll do is we'll uh, pop this guy back I think we'll sign off this session on that fish it's been a fantastic short session three salmon quite a few lost fish a lot of fun losing the light now so we'll uh, finish off the video here hope you enjoyed it <laughs>